my name is Nancy. I'm the RN that's going to be doing your assessment today. Can you tell me your name and date of birth? Joseph, September 15th, 1995. Okay, I'm going to be checking your, your chest and your lungs. I'm going to be listening, feeling, um, tapping on you a little bit. Do you have any history of pneumonia, asthma, chronic obstructive diseases? No. No. Okay. Um, do you mind taking your shirt off for me, please? Okay. First, I'm going to check your trachea here, and then I'm going to look at your uh, supersternal notch, go down to your xiphoid process. I'm going to check for symmetry on both sides. Everything looks the same. I'm going to make sure that there's no barrel chest or indentation, which there is not. I'm going to do the same on the back. Everything is in line there. I'm going to look at angles, and those all appear to be in line. <clears throat> Excuse me. If I can have you sit with your arms crossed for me, so I can check the sides, back, and the other side. Very good. All right. I need to check your pulse, please. same time I was checking for your respiration, your rate, and your rhythm, and it appears to be normal. Also looking at colors, looking for any distension in your neck veins, and those appear to be <coughs> normal as well. Now I'm going to have you take a deep breath in and out, and I'm going to be doing some measurements back here. Take a deep breath in and hold it. I'm going to be tapping. And marking where I hear a difference. Okay, you can breathe. And take a deep breath in. Exhale all the way out and hold it. Okay, I'm going to make another measurement. This is supposed to be between 3 and 6 centimeters. And you are exactly at 3, so that is within normal limits. Okay, now I'm going to listen. If you could take a deep breath in for me, and out, in, and out. I'm going to listen over on the side here, in, and out, in, and out. Okay, when you hear my stethoscope, or when you feel my stethoscope touch your back, just say 99 for me. Every time you feel it touch, say 99. 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99. Okay, again, say 99. <coughs> Now I'm going to have you whisper one, two, three when you hear my stethoscope touch your back. One, two, three. One, two, three. Again. One, two, three. Again. One, two, three. And again. One, two, three. Okay. When you, I'm going to have you just say e and continue like that until I say stop. Go. E. I'm also looking for any curvature in your back, which goes down to the side or curves around this way, and your spine appears to be straight. I'm going to check for any clubbing of your fingers, which would also indicate 
a respiratory disorder and you do not have any clubbing, you do not have any discoloration or accessory vessels on the outside, you do not have any crepitus or air underneath the skin. Do you have any tenderness anywhere that no. you're concerned with? No, no. Okay, I do not feel any masses. You are not breathing from your diaphragm, but breathing from your lungs. I'm also going to do, I'm going to have you turn this way and take a deep breath in for me. And that shows that both sides are expanding equally. Okay. I'm going to listen. Okay. We had discussed last time about your respir or your uh, pulse rate when you were exercising. What was your target heart rate? Uh, 170. And what did it get to after five minutes of exercise? 120. Perfect. All right. The only sounds that I heard were bronchiovascular sounds, which are totally normal. Um, I did not hear any crackles or ronchi or rails, which would be abnormal, indicating some, maybe a mass or some fluid in the lungs. Do you have any questions for me? No, not at all. Okay, thank you very much.